Once again, I cannot explain what it is, why I feel this way. Kiana James, if she continues on the path, I have a feeling that she's going to be the female. When you give Kiana James an opportunity, you can't go wrong. Okay, I'm going to go out in a limb and I'm going to make a crazy prediction. You're listening to this. You're going to laugh and that's cool. I've made crazy predictions and I've watched them come to pass. So with the recent NXT talent and the ones that are coming up, uh, I was very familiar with Nikita Lyons because I used to watch her in WOW. Um, when she was doing hip hop and dancing and all that stuff. Fallon Henley, I forgot what her name was when she was um, doing jobs in AEW. And it's so funny because it just shows again. Uh, anyway, I'm not going to even go and speak, speak on that shit anymore. Um, Tiffany, I think I might have admitted already that I wasn't really impressed in the beginning with Tiffany. It wasn't really until I started noticing that her character work, she had it in spades and the wrestling wasn't really impressing me, but it wasn't until when Becky showed up that it dawned up that it kind of clicked that she was wrestling down. It wasn't until when Be Becky came, it's like she went next level and then stayed next level. Uh, Kalani James, I think she has a lot of potential. But sometimes for me, just for me, there's certain talent. I always wonder where are they going to fit within the main roster when they move them up? That's like my biggest worry. Like I look at Kalani James and I, uh, Kalani, Kalani James. Uh, Kalani Jordan, I'm glad I remember the name. I'm brain fart to death. Kalani Jordan and the only person that I can think of is Layla. And I don't know why, but anyhow, um, I, I don't know, maybe it could be the fact that I watched a recent interview with Layla and coming from like not having a wrestling background to end up how she ended up, you know, talent wise, skill sets really improved. And not having, you know, because then they didn't have NXT and, and things like that. You know, it was what OVW, I think, was still. But she was picked from the diva thing. But I don't want to, you know, get too far off. But yeah, Kalani just has little, for some reason, just reminds me of Layla. Um, and for anyone listening, before you start, go, oh, I'm just, she just reminds me. I remember somewhere I put a comment and said that Trinity, when she went to TNA, remind me of Jackie. And someone, oh, they're two different. I was like, God damn it, bro. Like, it's something about her just reminds me. Does it always mean wrestling? Everybody doesn't always have to fucking respond with everything. Gosh. Anyhow, yeah, that's what I think of when I see her. And I'm wondering, like, damn, is her gimmick going to change when they move her up? What's going to happen with Kalani? But um, that's beside the point. Let me stick with the focus. Kiana James. I was not feeling the whole accountant shit. It was too 80s, 90s, Mike Rotundo. When I just heard it and saw it, I was like, this is corny. Too Vince McMahon-ish, you know, as far as like the character. But then as weeks kept going on, I started, you know, once I'm a character person, I'm a promo person first. Wrestling, I like it. But if you cannot get over with that crowd, um... Which is one of my things with Jey Uso, but I'll save that for another time. Um, and it's not getting over the crowd, like I said, I'll save it for another time. Anyhow, the way she would just, you know, continuously lock in on her character. Oh, and I was also familiar with um, Santino's daughter as well, because I'd seen her in the indies. Anyhow, the way she locks in on her character started getting my interest. And then when they put her with Fallon... Um, and they won the tag titles and I started watching. It was like, she could really work. She's actually out of that whole crop. She's the first person that I locked in on as far as getting better and improving. 
Little did I know that she was at Flatbacks and was trained by Sean Spears and Tyler Breeze. Now, of course, it makes sense. Same thing with Tiffany. I didn't know that she was trained by Greg Gagne. So now that explains, you know, why they're so good. It's something about Kiana James. And I'm going to tell you this, and I cannot, once again, I cannot explain what it is, why I feel this way. I'm saying, Kiana James, if she continues on the path, and you're going to laugh at this, I have a feeling that she's going to be the female Randy Orton. I'll let you laugh. And I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not going to say any more. We're going to let the action speak for itself. So I'm saying it again. Kiana James will become the female Randy Orton. And it has nothing to do with her finisher, the RKO and the 401k. No, it's just something about her. I didn't even really know that the name of that finisher was 401k until a few weeks ago. But it's something about her that's telling me she's going to be, she's giving me Randy Orton vibes. So I'm going to leave that alone. You guys can think about it, shit on it, whatever. I'm out.